Mark the Movie Man here. Welcome to the final cut, the show that never ends. So glad you could attend. Inside today, the final cut, we're going to take a look at The Cross Bearer. All right, now uh, this is a slasher film, and it tells the story of a... a Heather, okay, who's in this hard knock life. She really doesn't want to be in this life. She's a stripper in a sleazy club with a sleazy boss, and she's looking for an opportunity for her and her girlfriend to escape to Greece together and live out their lives together, okay? So they're looking for that opportunity. Well, the sleazy boss does give them that opportunity with this one big store, uh, score, excuse me, because he is, after all, dealing in other things besides strippers. So <laughs> when they go on this big score and run this air and for the boss, they end up coming across paths with the cross bearer. Now, he calls himself that mostly because he feels he's doing the Lord's work by cleansing the sin from the world one claw hammer strike at a time. Yes, that's right. The cross bearer is a cloth mask wearing claw hammer wielding madman who wants to take out all the pimps and hookers in the dredge of society. Okay? And he does it brutally. Well, when they come across the paths, we see the chaos ensue as they try to escape the place they're in and not become victims of the cross bearer. Folks, this is a great classic send up slasher film, okay? It had all the great qualities you want in a slasher film. You got the gore, you got the uh, some nudity, you got the humor. You, you got a great slasher character in the form of Crossbearer. Now they open the film and they give you a little bit of backstory through some edits and some monologue to get you into kind of the head of the Crossbearer a little bit. And I love that setup of it, you know, because it gave him enough character and gave you some familiarity with him so when you do see him later in the film, you got that connection, and you kind of can see where his motivation's coming from. And I love the fact that his outfit is just simply this cloth mask and claw hammer. It's beautiful, simplistic ways to go and still make very cool characters. That's what I love, and independent cinema does it so well, and the Crossbearer is a prime example of that. So, love the character, the Crossbearer, okay? He was just a great old-school slasher feel. But then you get some great performances. You get Heather, played by Natalie Jean, who really puts all in her performance and you get that emotion and that connection with her. You know, some of these uh, films are just kind of reading the lines. She actually is trying uh, to act and does a very good job at it. You get a connection with her, which is what you want with your strong female character that uh, you hope <laughs> survives till the end, okay? The other characters around her as well are a little more stereotypical, but we're not looking for so much depth with them because we usually expect them to be father. Whether or not they are going to be father or not, you'll have to see. But, uh, you know, it, it's your slasher formula, okay? But what I liked is some of the dialogue in here wasn't your standard uh, uh, cheesy dialogue, okay? They tried to give a little more uh, development for Heather, you know, how she wants to get out of this life, you can can tell. And also, uh, there's some Kevin Smith-ish dialogue while they're waiting in the car for the score, if you get to see the scene. I loved it because it was it was very had that beat of clerks and uh, you know that type of feel to it and the way the conversation was as well the theme of this conversation also had a very Kevin Smith Smith ish feel to it but it didn't seem out of place it seemed natural which I also love they didn't just throw it in there it seemed natural for the characters and you know what else are they gonna discuss while they're waiting to do the big score okay you got some fantastic bloody practical effects in here as well well done there they didn't go cheesy CGI, and uh, you got a great decent soundtrack as well. And this is a cross bearer in general. They got these little nuances that help make him not just a kind of mindless killing guy. He's got some depth to him, which is always nice to have for your slasher. And about the only thing that I didn't really care for with Crossbear is that there are a few parts in the editing. It seemed a little bit jumpy. Okay, not a whole lot, but there just some bits in there uh, that is a little bit jumpy. Uh, but other than that, it is a solid horror film. Definitely check it out. Go to adversaryfilms.com. Check out their page. You can even buy the film there. It's not that much. And let me tell you, if you're a horror fan who likes slasher films, it's worth your time because this is definitely showing that <laughs> independent horror makes a hell of a lot better horror film than Schlollywood has in the last, I'd say, at least five years. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, keep the